Okay guys, so here is a really quick tutorial on how to do green screening or also called ultra key. So I've got my green screen clip already loaded up and a couple pointers uh, as we're filming this, we wanna make sure that our people are sitting away from the backdrop because the closer they are to it, we're more likely to get green light reflecting off that onto them. And we also wanna create a shallow depth of field. It would also help if we didn't have wrinkles in it. So we should probably steam clean that. Once we have our clip loaded here into Premiere, we wanna make sure that we are in the effects panel. So I'm gonna come up here to window, workspace and effects. And then right up here under effects, we can either find it in here or we can search for what's called ultra key, U-L-T-R-A, ultra key. And we just drag that effect onto our clip. From here, we check out our effects controls on the opposite side and we find ultra key and we want to set our key color to that color in the back. So if I click on this and then I click somewhere here on the back, it'll mask things out pretty well. And I picked one of the shadows. You can see it's not perfect in this area. So what I'm going to do is come down here to contrast and drag this over to darken things up. We can also increase the choke on it, which will bring in that line or soften it. So we're gonna play around with that contrast till we can get that to drop out a little bit more. It's looking pretty good. If I would have selected from there, I could do the same, increase that contrast to get that to drop out. And then I can even come down to spill suppression and play with these or color correction. So with spill, oh, I don't wanna play with range. I could desaturate, but I don't wanna do that with spill right there. You can see how it's affecting the hair on the edges, but we'll keep that as is. And luminosity, which is our brightness. So we have a bunch of different things we can play with right there. Once we have the background looking perfectly black, we need to put in a background image. So I'm gonna drag our video clip from V1 up to V2, and I'm gonna throw in a JPEG image right here of Stockton, and I'll just move these guys out of the way so I can click on this, double click on that background image because it's a little bit bigger than I want. And I'm going to decrease the scale, again, under effects control, shrink that down, not too far. There we go. So if that's like that right there, now if I have these guys here, they've got a nice vista of Stockton behind them. If we hit play though, It'll only last the length of the JPEG, goes back to black. So I need to lengthen out that JPEG clip. So now it goes for the entirety of them talking. If I had two clips of them, another one being green screen right here, and this one didn't already have the ultra key effect on it, I can go to this first clip where it is, hit control C when I'm on the effect to copy it, Go to this new clip, select it, hit Control V. Oh, let's try that again. Go to Ultra Key, copy, go to this clip, paste, and that'll paste the effect on so we don't have to go through all of those things again. If it's a different green screen day, if the lighting's different, if backgrounds are different, we may need to adjust, but that way you can quickly reapply that effect. Then I can drag this over and I've got that background back for them. Again, that is a quick way to do ultra key. Once we have that done, just make sure to go up to export. Pay attention to where it's exporting. We don't want to export to like Adobe random location. So I'm going to export to my desktops real quick. Give it a name. Make sure H.264 match source. And we're going to click export. And that's it.